The 78 Things of Christmas, written by Alaric. The date is January 6, 2008. The Fat Controller's assistant, Stephen Stevenson, was bringing Sir Tottenham Hat a cup of tea. Here you are, sir. Just how you like it. Brewed perfection with lots of sugar. Ah, thank you, Wiggles. <sighs> Something wrong, sir? Yes, uh, there is, as a matter of fact. My wife has been sending me some very odd things over the past few weeks that I'm a bit concerned about. Um, what I'm really concerned about is as to where she's got the money for it all. Considering the 9,878 pounds and 39 pence missing from my bank account recently, I think I have a good idea. But who should say, really? What sort of things has she been sending you? She's very peculiar things indeed, Wiggles. And the strange thing is, it's usually a repeat of what she got me the day before with something extra. Oh, really? What did she get you today, sir? Well, Wiggles, on this, the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Twelve drummers drumming. Which is really irritating, I'll have you know. There I am, trying to eat my breakfast in peace, and I could barely hear myself think with all the bloody drumming. It was like a night at Ringo Starr's house, there were so many drums. Oh dear. And as if that wasn't bad enough, she also sent eleven pipers piping. Now, I don't know if you've tried listening to pipes and drums at the same time, Wiggles, but it's not particularly pleasant. And it wasn't just flutes, let me tell you. There were pan pipes, bag pipes, smoking pipes, there was even this little Italian fellow playing a drain pipe. Sounds bizarre, sir. And it gets worse. Ugh. Imagine trying to get from the kitchen to the front hall when you've got ten lords leaping every which way. It's a good thing Tony Blair got rid of all those red right teddy pears. Oh goodness knows how many more that have been. Ken Livingstone nearly had my eye out. Ouch. Too right. Mind you, I didn't so much object to the nine ladies dancing. In fact, it was all right. Except for those bloody pussycat dolls. Pawn Marshall, if, if my wife was as hot as them, I'd have divorced her years ago. Speaking of my wife, she's been getting a little friendly with that Lord Snooty. I'll have to have a talk to her about that. Anything else, sir? I'm nowhere near finished yet, Wiggles. I had to put up with eight maids of milking. Now, delivering milk, that would have been fine, but no, they had to bring the bloody cows along with them. If you've never been in a room with eight cows, my boy, then I don't recommend it. Nearly had me spitting up my shredded wheat, especially after seeing what color they turned the water. Water? Yes, water. My house had to be flooded for the next lot of gifts. Seven swans are swimming. Seven swimming swans. What the bloody hell am I supposed to do with seven swans? It's not like I can get rid of them. They're protected swans. Uh, I can't even eat them. Suppose Her Majesty stopped by for another visit. Oh, surely, Liz. I had to shoot all these swans. I hope you don't mind. Yes, quite a scandal, sir. Oh, speaking of birds, seven geese a laying was the next one. Good God. Ah, uh, sir. If it had been eggs they were laying, that would have been nice. I didn't expect to have to sit to my breakfast and have to watch six geese uh, doing things with each other. Oh. Uh, let's, let's move on, shall we, sir? Uh, good idea, we go. The next thing she sent me were five golden rings. Well, not real gold, of course. Stuff from Argos, no doubt. They turn, they'll turn my fingers green, the cheap things. Look at them. And as if I didn't have enough birds already, I then got four calling birds that kept insulting me, three French heads that reeked of cheese and garlic, and two turtle doves that made a right mess of my shredded wheat. I can open up my own aviary now with all these bloody birds I've got. I've told her we've nowhere to put them all, but you, you, well, you know what women are like. You don't like my present. Typical. And the last present was the worst of all. What was it, sir? A partridge in a pear tree. Not only, not only was the tree dead, but that partridge. Uh, another bird for the collection, I see. Oh, I wish it were, Wiggles. I truly wish it were. But it wasn't that sort of partridge. Really, sir? What was it? It was only bloody Keith partridge. What? Jeez. Oh dear. I had to leave to the tune of David Cassidy singing, When I'm a Rock and Roll Star. 
A fate no one should ever have to suffer, sir. I tell you what, we goes. I'm glad Christmas comes only once a year. <laughs>